Hello and welcome at Eurostat 2024, the world's largest defense and security exhibition. My name is Teresa Pulterova and here with me is Dr. James Bennett, the Executive Vice President for Space Systems at EOS. Hello. Hello. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the role of space technologies uh, in defense and security? Uh, yes, uh, so we specialize in electro-optic uh, technologies for space surveillance. So. Uh, we build and um, operate um, electro-optic systems for day and night uh, tracking of space objects. So uh, we survey space and basically see what's going on up there. Uh, EOS has been developing space defence technologies for quite a long time. Can you tell us a little bit about your evolution in this field? Yeah, so we evolved out of, uh, I guess, laser programs. Uh, we've been around for 40 years, uh, so quite a lot of technology evolution in that time. Uh, we, what sets us apart from the rest is, I guess, um, day and night tracking capabilities, high energy laser ranging to uh, debris objects in particular. So we, we lead the field in, in this domain. Uh, can you explain us the concept of space domain awareness and its significance in modern defence strategies? So space domain awareness is all about monitoring space. Uh, space is an operational domain. So uh, having an, uh, an up-to-date picture on what, what's going on up in, in space is very important, particularly uh, detecting any threats to space assets. So we specialise in monitoring those activities. Uh, what challenges in the space domain are you currently focusing at? Yep, so it's all around that surveillance piece. So we offer uh, really, uh, I guess, unique technology in this, in this domain centred around lasers. So. Our systems are, are really high in maturity, uh, so we, we sell data globally. Uh, so we also build the systems from the ground up for these purposes. So we put a broad range of capabilities within space systems. How does EOS technology help us protect against and deter hostile satellites? So a couple of ways. One, we can predict when uh, collisions are going to occur. So we provide this as a service uh, into global space operations. Uh, and then uh, in terms of laser effectors, we're building a laser system that can actually engage pieces of debris and move it out of the way to protect space, space assets. So quite a broad range of both the predictive nature of space and monitoring what's going on up there and then the, uh, I guess being able to do something about debris on debris collisions. Thank you. That was Dr. James Bennett, the Executive Vice President for Space Systems at EOS.